Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Day Hangul. Word number 59. Kacha. Kacha. The Korean word kacha is used to say let's go in an informal manner. Again, kacha is used to say let's go. How do we write kacha in Hangul? This is composed of two syllables. For the first syllable ga, we need to draw first a gyuk character followed by an a character. And for the second syllable cha, we need to draw a jiat character followed by an a character. Now let's try looking at this example. It says pali kacha. Again, it's pali kacha. This sentence could be subdivided into two parts. The first part is pali, and this is used to say quickly. And the second part is kacha, which is a way to say let's go. And that is our word for today. So when we combine those two, it would result to a sentence that means let's go quickly. And with that, you've just learned kacha. Now let's proceed to our previous 10 words recap. As of now, our previous 10 words are words number 49 to 58. But don't forget our word for today, word number 59, kacha, which means let's go in an informal manner. Next word is word number 58, it's ulta. This is a verb which means to cry. Next word is hada, which means to do. Next word is kada, which means to go. Next word for our review is boyo, and this is used to say what is it in Korean. Next word for our review is word number 54, it's irum, this is used to say name. Next word is manada. This is a verb which means to meet. Next word is achim. This is a noun which means morning. Next word is suguhaseo which means keep up the good work. Next word is tonmaneo, which means you're welcome. And the last word for our review is of soil. This is used to say there's no or I don't have in Korean. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time on here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words. Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Day Hangul. Word number 60 Kapshida Again, it's Kapshida The word Kapshida is the formal way of saying let's go Again, Kapshida means let's go How do we write this in Hangul? This is composed of three syllables For the first syllable, Kap we need to draw first a giyuk character, followed by an a character, followed by a biyuk character. For the second syllable, she, we need to draw a siyot character, followed by an e character. And for the last syllable, da, we need to draw a dikut character, followed by an a character. 
and then we just need to combine these three syllables. Now let's try looking at this example. It says, it says, mokuro kapshida. Again, it's mokuro kapshida. The first part of the example sentence is mokuro, and this has something to do with the action of eating. The other part is kapshida. This is our word for the day. And as mentioned, this is the formal way of saying, let's go. So, when we combine this, when we say, Mokuro kabshira, it's the same as saying, let's go eat. Again, this could be used to say, let's go and eat. So, looking back to this, which is flashed a while ago, we already know by now that the meaning of Mokuro kabshira is Let's go eat. And with that, you've just learned kapshita. Now let's proceed to our previous 10 words recap. As of now, our previous 10 words are words number 50 to 59. But don't forget our word for today, word number 60, kapshita. This is the formal way of saying, let's go. The first word for our review is kacha, and this is the informal way to say let's go. Next word is urta. This is a verb which means to cry. Next word is hada. This is another verb which means to do. Next word is kata. This is another verb which means to go. Next word is poeo, and this is used to say or ask, what is it? Next word is irem. This is the Korean term for name. Next word is manada. This is a Korean verb which means to meet. Next word is achim, and this is the Korean term for morning. Next word is sukohaseyo, and this is used to say keep up the good work. And the last word for our review is tonmaneyo. This is used to say, you're welcome. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time, only here at Day Hangul. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words.